Welcome back from the break. In fact, I had to take off my glasses because the session we are in right now, I need to see very well. And definitely glasses are not needed in the bedroom. But we are fortunate to have Madam Comfort Ekia O'Day from Beautiful Beneath to tell us how we can spice up the bedroom to keep our relationships going. But first of all, I would like for her to tell us more or something, you know, we need to know about Beautiful Beneath. Okay. Um, once again, good morning. Good and morning. Um, thank you for having me. Right. Okay. So Beautiful Beneath, it's a sports and lingerie shop. Okay. Um, we do have varieties of um, different brands okay. ranging from, um, we have the Calvin Klein, we okay. have Fria, we have Victoria's Secret, we have, like, you can name them. Right. Um, we do have bras, we do have sportswears, we do have lingeries, we do okay. have um, perfumes and sneakers, it's, it's a whole lot. But when you walk into Beautiful Beneath, we do take your measurements for free. Okay. So you can just pass by Beautiful Beneath and get measured and know your right size bra. Okay. All right. Um, before we go into the bedroom itself, what are some of the things we need to know as partners in relationship? How do, should we keep uh, beneath beautiful? Like beneath? Beneath okay. beautiful. Yes. yes. Okay. Thank you. So, do you know, it's one thing that um, most marriages, marriages and um, relationship lack. Right. Um, people think when you get married, that's the end. You, you have a you have a partner so you don't need to spice up you don't need to look beautiful beneath okay. like you don't need to pamper yourself but that the 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 journey starts from even after after you get married okay. you know you need to keep your a game on you need okay. to bring certain things like things differently on the table you need to add certain things to your marriage to make it beautiful and make it new okay. as you, as you guys met on the first day you know every first date is it's always remembered because of what happened right. because of how nice it or how sweet the the um that day was right. so you need to keep that a game on okay so now let's enter into the bedroom okay coffee wow. You are so interested <laughs> than myself. So I, I, I have always been waiting for the bedroom part of it. Okay. You get it. Okay. So, I mean, we are now in the bedroom. Yes. Okay. Spice what are the, the specific things we need to do? Okay. To so in the bedroom, it. always meet. When clients come around, I tell them you need to wear something that you feel comfortable in it. In it. You need to check um, your body type. Okay. You need to know what is good for your body. Okay. Maybe what a slim person is wearing might not fit you. The fact okay. that you see it looks sexy and beautiful with on that person doesn't necessarily mean it's going to fit you. So okay. one, when you want to spice up the bedroom, you need to check the lingerie that you're wearing. Mm -hmm. You need to get, maybe I do lacy. Maybe you do satin, you do lycra. It's going to um, be good for your for your body shape right. and your body type. So you need to put all these into consideration before you get into the bedroom. You need to take a good bath. You need to wash everywhere. You need to every get part every you. part of your body. It you need to wash. To the men. They need to wash. <laughs> Even both of all of us for both genders. You need to wash everywhere. You need to make sure that everywhere is clean. You need to shave. You need to get the best perfume, you know, okay. you need to get okay. perfume, you need to get some wines, you need to get some pear towels, you know. Wow. It, it's, it's not only for, um, for how, do, how do I say, it's not only for honeymoons, right. but once you're married, you can still be doing once in a while. You can still be doing... Imagine your husband is going to work and he comes back and he sees you in a very sexy lingerie with two wine glasses, with petals, with a chair, with some wine. You'll be like, ah-ah. Uh -uh. I'm imagining my weekend. Yes, unfortunately, yes. So even if, even if he's at work, mm -hmm. he'll be eager to come home. Right. There's no necessity. Like, he, he won't even think about, like, okay, let me go to this side chick. Maybe this person. But 
he knows that okay my wife can do anything my wife can come out with any any creative so, things to right. spice up the bedroom okay so so is that just what it is i mean spicing up the bedroom is that just about the lingerie and then how you set up or there are other things to factors to consider spicing up your bedroom um I yes mean, well, let's come let's look at even the colors yes the colors are um are very necessary so this coming vows day mm -hmm. you know it's it's all this reddish yeah. so you need to know the colors that you want to use um so it depends on what your your other partner too likes okay. maybe your partner it's uh, likes purple likes um yellow you need to put all these things into consideration maybe the petals will be yellow but you know red really attracts men like red red stuff red lingeries red bras red red and everything signifies love, yeah you know. so you need to put those things into consideration okay so what role does lingerie play in the bedroom oh i'm seeing all sort of items yeah. here from beads to some you candy know, i see candy posing and a magic one <laughs> the whip <laughs> the whip <laughs> you need so to go take us take us to connie you know um lingerie plays uh, a major role but people do not take it serious yes, yeah okay most marriages like do collapse most of them not all of them but most of them do collapse due to these kind of things they oh, don't yeah, know used to wrapping cloth around yes that. wrapping cloth are you ready to go and your wife, your wife wrap cloth and you are ready to go no you need to get a lingerie you need to you need to pamper yourself you need to pamper your partner you okay. need to you know May bring new things on the table like you shouldn't Still even you, you'd see you'd see someone they've been married for 20 years but when you see them i see they just got married yesterday right. it's because of these things because of what they do okay. you know it's very funny that unbelievers their marriage lasts more than believers why You're because they are naughty they play naughty like they, they get all the naughty stuffs Okay. To spice up their relationship, but the young Christopher, some of us, om de nyamesum, ye mfa nyamesum onko bedroom. No, you don't do that. Okay. In the bedroom, you need to bring your bitch out. You need to bring all those crazy stuff that you have within you. If you be no, but the thing is, once you exhibit all of that, then your husband would, you know, stop everything and look at you. That is that is one thing that people. You see, when you get married, when you get married on your honeymoon. Um, let's say if Saturday evening you guys were not able to do anything, maybe Sunday after church, then that time you guys can. You need to bring your A game. You need to let your man yeah. know whatever that you can Everything do. Everything good thing. Everything. In you. Every good thing. You don't need to pretend. You don't need to feel shy. You need to bring your A game on. Okay. You get it. So that when next time you're doing certain things, he won't be surprised. Uncle say, hey, na miri, hey, be a couple baby, no be a baby, be so actually no. You need to bring your A game on. You need to spice up. You need to let him know that, yeah. Okay. Elia, Elia, I'm coming. Elia, you mentioned that we need to wash. Now the washing, this hygiene. How how do you wash? I mean, the women, how do they wash? And the men, how do you also wash to spice the bedroom up? You know, after a hard day's work. You've I mean, the gone. beneath, the washing the beneath. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's very important. Oh, it's very right. it's 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 we, are, we are in the uh, Cervical Cancer Awareness Month. Yeah. And Beautiful and Beneath yes. had campaigning. Yeah. So it's good that we get yeah. to this Yeah, so um, after um, your hard day's work, mm -hmm. when you come back from all those traffic and stuff, when you get to the bathroom, you should like stay like 10 to 20 minutes there to wash Very well. thoroughly okay because you know there is there's a game on or you know you, you're going to have something to do so you need to keep long in the bathroom you wash you you shave every word that it's necessary for you to shave so that there won't be any hair you know you're okay. not <laughs> no, no, but we need to 
in as much as we are Christian, we need to be naughty to keep yeah. our relationship yeah. going. So, so what can men also wear in the bedroom? Yes. Mm -hmm. So to set the lady's mind. Yes. yes. I'm seeing beads. Can any men like beads? Yes. So men, if you are um, wearing your this, this boxer type, you keep wearing this boxer type. You know these boxes are very loose that yeah. the guy, the men do wear. Yeah. You need to once in a while. You need to change it. You need to get these. These are boxer briefs. Okay. So that it holds a package everything. Right. Especially white. You need, when you wear white, me when men wear white, it puts me on. Okay. okay. So you need to wear white. Okay. And you need to get some baby oil around the chest. You know, okay. just to look. So sexy. we can yeah, get baby oil bags. and everything. You baby from oil from <laughs> and from beautiful okay. relief, you know, well, and, well, and perfume. Okay. So mm -hmm. that the lady will be able to okay. sniff, to, to sniff you okay. everywhere. Okay. Oh, that, that's fine. So what and is that one? one? The candy? One. The candy G-string. Okay. Okay, so this one is edible. So a lady can walk into beautiful beneath and buy this for her partner. For the uh, man. For the man. So the lady can lick, the lady can do whatever it's supposed to do, just to turn the man on. We do have Let's the see. same oh. thing too for um, females. females. The, a man too can walk into Beautiful Beneath and get that for his partner so that, you know, all these things also spice up the bedroom. Okay. So the, the, the man can actually lick this? Yes. Whilst it's on the waist of the yes, the woman can actually lick it. Okay, all right. Wow, this this will actually let's look at this something like this. Okay, so something like this is um, it's a matching set. Mm -hmm. So some people, it's it's what you prefer. I I love wearing um, baby dolls. It's what you prefer. Okay. So these are matching sets. Some people like matching sets. Um, lingerie okay. so when you wear this this is how the back is oh wow so imagine your husband coming home seeing you in this wow. with bees around your waist smelling good he'll mm -hmm. eat you up oh wow yeah so, so it's all about eating her it's, up yeah it's all about eating her up okay. i know helena sante is watching she invests all her money uh -huh. in hiring different types of lingerie oh, helen wow. good morning <laughs> good morning <laughs> Okay, so keep doing that. But um, besides uh, all of these things and the attitude, how should the attitude be like? Your attitude be like in the bedroom? Because when we talk of beauty, in the spicing up the bedroom, attitude also, I think, plays a role. So how should your attitude be like? You need to be naughty. You need to, to bring all those sexy, craziness. Sexy, yeah. You need to bring all those things out. Like what she is wearing. Okay. This this is satin, um, a silk, a silk um, nightwear. Okay. So imagine your husband coming home and seeing you in this, All right. smelling good. Okay. He'll be ready to tear it up. Okay. Okay. You get it. And you see, when buying lingerie, you need to check all those the seams, the hems, the need to, the finishing. Okay. You need to know the quality of what you're buying. Right. You shouldn't just buy, um lingeries even even if it's cheap but you need to get um a good result from for from what you're buying mm. so that it can last for you right. these ones you can get them at beautiful beneath okay and it's very affordable it comes it's a three set it has a trouser that in the morning after sleeping when you wake up you can wear the tra okay. and you can serve breakfast with it right. wow. so i am a man and i want to surprise my wife with a lingerie what thing do I have to consider? One, you need to consider her size. You need to consider her size. You need to consider her body type okay. before buying a lingerie. How many types of body do we have? Skin. I mean, the, the body type. We, they do, um, we do have like five, mm -hmm. five or six. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, they have um, the round body. They have the triangle. They have the inverted body, you know. Body types comes in different. Okay. So yeah. let's say she's a triangle. What type would I have to buy? That means she's a triangle. That means she's smaller here and bigger there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when you come, at Beautiful Midi, when you come, you show us the picture. Okay, just the, current, the picture. Just do. a picture. We can get you something okay. for your partner. All right. 
All right. So where can we find Beautiful Beneath? Okay, so Beautiful Beneath is um, located at East Legon on the same stretch with Akeza Insurance. Okay. When you're coming from the ANC Mall, you make your um, right turn right after the Akeza. Um, Beautiful Beneath is on your right hand side. But when you're coming from American House and you take the ANC road, right after the Washing Bay, Beautiful Beneath is on your left. Now, we were talking about you, you, just, you, you wash and then you use some beautiful perfume. And, yeah. You know, there are some perfumes that you use it over a period of time. Then it starts to generate some bad kind of odor. So what do I also have to consider when choosing the perfume? You need to consider what um, the type, the brand of perfume that, you know, there are perfumes that you can use it okay, um, on a casual day, mm -hmm. like... But in the bedroom, you need to consider the type of perfume, like the fragrance Let's that you see. want. So, For do instance, we have a bedroom perfume? Oh, yes, do people want? do have. Mm. So, th this is um, Victoria's Secret. You can have a look. Okay. Victoria's so Secret. Good for a bedroom. Yes, Victoria's Secret bombshell. bombshell right. perfume. And it's very good. Imagine right. wearing a Victoria's Secret. Try this. And, this. and the splash, too. It's also very it's mild. Okay. Some people don't want um, harsh Smoke perfumes. Yes, yeah. yeah, so these mild ones would also be very good for the bedroom. And you, you, you did not talk to us about the, the way. <laughs> <laughs> these ones. How do these I ones use it? are all. So you can you can use it. <laughs> I need to yeah. teach you. Okay, so just a, a little demonstration. I need to. <laughs> no, maybe I'll see you. <laughs> Oh, I'll see each of us. I need to teach okay. you these ones. But what, what does it really do? I mean, oh, it's it's it it's brings it that really sexiness in you, you know. The man or the woman? The man, the woman, both. <laughs> <laughs> both can both. use it. This um, a man can use this to just touch your butt, you know, to to entice you. The woman too can also be wearing a good lingerie and posing this. So baby, I'm ready for you. Come and get well, me. Come, come and get me. Come and get me. All right. So you can get one for yourself just to spice up your bedroom. Uh, so we have for plus need. size too. Okay. okay. So my plus size people. Wow, that's nice. Yeah. So we have this too for the plus size. Okay. So okay. this um, Valentine's Day, beautiful beneath. Would you be running any promo? Yes, surely. And uh, we will um, see this one. Oh, whoa. So wow. this one has a card in front. So imagine coming home and seeing this. This beautiful, nice. silky um, lines. Okay. Wear. This will surely set your mind oh, ablaze. this one will surely. Turn you on. It, when, when you come in from work and she opens the door for you. Mm -hmm. And well, poses like that. And poses like the way she has posed. Oh God! With a glass of wine. He's to going to sign check you. for you. Oh, okay. He got check. So some check signing comes in. Yes, yes. the slave yes. queens have been investing yes. in, and yes. people are there saying. So <laughs> wives, please, the slave queens are investing <laughs> into this. So I think that you wives should also visit beautiful beneath yes. and invest into some of these things to keep your marriage, to keep marriage your safe. Marriage safe. I mean, it's, it's very right. necessary. Very necessary. All right. Thank you. Wow. So you were talking about um, vows date. Yes. So we'll be having um, um, a sip, a sip and drink um, okay. at East Legon and Laboni Branch. Very soon we'll so, soon be opening at Marina Mall. Marina Mall. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so people can pass through our new shop at Marina Mall. Okay. Right. Are you in Kumasi yet? Beautiful. Not beneath. not yet, but very soon we'll soon be in Kumasi. Not yet. But my last question for the day is why did you choose the name beautiful beneath what is it about the beneath that you want to be, be beautiful or what is it the beautiful beneath why choose that name you know, for such brand yeah you know um beautiful beneath imagining i'm just giving you a scenario okay imagining you wearing um, a torn boxer okay and a torn um, tank. Uh, okay, let's imagine somebody is wearing someone, a Someone, okay, someone is wearing <laughs> <laughs> someone, someone is wearing a torn boxer and uh, a torn tank and you are neatly dressed and God forbid, the person had an accident. 
accident no dim recover sorry because on him said yes no enye enye on train so so to avoid those things you need to always look beautiful beneath and the confidence and the confidence you know if i wasn't wearing the right size bra or i'm not wearing the the right shape wear i won't be comfortable here okay small time i'll be yeah. pulling something, pulling something behind, behind, behind packaging me it and packaging it well but my girls are up everything it's you are beautiful beneath yeah, yeah what i'm wearing beneath. i got it so if i should beneath. fall down now you are beautiful beneath. i'm beautiful beneath i don't need to wake up because i know i'm beautiful beneath <laughs> so anybody can help you out anyone can help me out because beneath. i'm beautiful beneath <laughs> so please um ladies and gentlemen out there we want to encourage you to be beautiful beneath, beneath. Now let's say your final words to everybody. Okay, out there. so I want to tell all my clients, all my customers who have been there for us for two and a half years. God bless you. Thank you. Keep coming. And to those who have not visited our um, yes. our shop yet, you need to pass through. You need to come get measured for free. Okay. You need to come get lingeries. You need to come get your sports wears. You need to come so we spice up your your relationship and oh, your marriage. Oh, sports wear. Then let me chip in another thing. Um, let's say I want to, you know, go on jogging often times, normally weekends with my wife, or because we are talking of spicing up the yeah. relationship. We do have sets. We so we need do have a set of gym words for couples. Okay. You see, most couples want to to twin, to be twinny right. when going on jogging and stuff. So okay. we do have sportswear okay. for couples. We do right. have sportswear for kids, right. swimwear. So this Val's Day, please come to come. 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 How do you come. call this one? These ones. Hmm. This lingerie, it's it has a cotton. Some people do like cotton okay. lingerie. So these ones, it's the naughty. The naughty type. Naughty. Yes, it's very <laughs> naughty. It has this all this crazy um, revealing. Re revealing at the back. Yeah. You know, some people want to expose more skin, like when wearing a lingerie. So you can go in for these ones and you're good to go. Oh, I know you're enjoying it because we are preparing you actually for the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Very this weekend. Yeah, I mean, whatever weekend. whatever beef between you and your wife, yes. just cut it just off. Just cut it off. Come I mean, to Beautiful Beneath. Beautiful Beneath and then and spice it up. And we got you covered. We'll spice yeah. everything up. We'll help you reconcile with your husband. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, darling. All right. So, it's been quite an exciting one with yes. you this morning, Beautiful yeah. Beneath. And then you've really schooled us through all of the good things you sell there, the yeah. lingeries and every, the sportswear and everything, you've walked us through all that. Amma yeah. has something to say. Yeah, definitely. No, the rest of my questions I'll ask her when I visit. <laughs> you oh. need to pass you. Yeah, yeah, I have we, been we, there quite yeah. a lot of times. I will, I will come. Yes. I will come. It's I will been come. amazing having you I will here. come. <laughs> but I was thinking that you asked, are you both going to come? Are you but both, I will come. You will come. I will okay. come. Alone, or you come with someone? I will come. Okay. So, just as I'm getting myself to go, we're going for a quick break and come back shortly. Thank you.